In this video today, we're going to be continuing our series going verse by verse through the book of Ephesians. We're going to be picking up in chapter 1, verses 17 and 18. Let's go ahead and read that passage, and then we'll jump right in here. The scripture says that the God of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints. So verse 17 here, we have God the Father, God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Spirit, all three mentioned. We see the Trinity here. What is going on in this verse? Well, we see the Father sending the Spirit to the believers. Now, all Christians are given the Holy Spirit at the moment of salvation. But what I want you to particularly take note of in this verse is it says the Spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. The purpose of this, the principle of this verse, is that we are to grow in the knowledge of the triune God through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And of course, we do that by digging deep into the Word, because the Word, the Bible, is the revelation of God. James 1.5 says this, If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. So if we lack wisdom, we need to go to God and we need to pray and to cry out for wisdom. And we need to search the scriptures and dig deep into the scriptures and seek him out and to seek him in the revelation that he has given through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit, we will be able to understand these things. Now, verse 18 starts off by discussing having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. Now, the context that what we have, what we have been discussing needs to be mentioned here, that we have been primarily in chapter 1, largely talking about salvation, predestination, and so forth throughout this passage. And so that is particularly the hope, the salvation, that we have a deeper knowledge and more of an understanding of these things of salvation. Not that we may obtain salvation, because we as Christians have already been given salvation, but that we may have a deeper wisdom and a deeper understanding and comprehension of these things. And notice the last part of verse 18 says, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints? Ultimately, the saints are the inheritance of Jesus Christ, if you will. Now, the church is his bride. We are his glorious inheritance. Not because the church, not because we as individual Christians or collectively are ultimately glorious because ultimately all of us are just forgiven sinners saved by grace. That is why we can be called saints is because of the grace of God. It is through the work of Christ, through the work of the triune God, that we are made a glorious inheritance for him. That is why the church is the glorious inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope that you found it beneficial. Be sure and hit the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new one in the series and have a blessed rest of your day.